completely when we say forests we say chanto so when we say the forests are beautiful we say chanto hunzu we believe that everything has a spirit the trees uh, any little bush the grass you know yeah the sky our environment everything in it has a spirit even the animals down to the smallest little worm we believe that they all have spirits and that's the basis of our uh, spirituality that's the main focus of our spirituality is that everything is connected and everything has a spirit. Interior British Columbia is home to some of the planet's little remaining old growth. Despite being located hundreds of kilometers from the coast, a globally unique inland temperate rainforest exists here. This is thanks to a perfect combination of water sources. Precipitation captured by the Rocky and Caribou Mountains, spring snowmelt, and groundwater flow. Here, majestic stands of cedar and hemlock grow to be hundreds to even more than a thousand years old. Next to the inland temperate rainforest, boreal rainforest supports another kind of old growth. Stands of spruce and subalpine fir can grow to be over a hundred years old. The biodiversity in the inland temperate rainforest is stunning. Over 350 species of wildlife and over 2,000 species of plants and lichens call this place home. Some of these species are endangered. Some are new to science. There may be others yet undiscovered. Many of these beings can only make their living in old growth. The forestry industry likes to tell the public stories to justify the continued logging of these globally unique forests. You'll hear that we might as well log it, because it's all going to burn anyway. But this region is wet enough that stand destroying fires are very rare. Stands of planted trees, on the other hand, burn easily, especially when they reach the age where the canopies of the trees are all touching. You'll hear that we need to log old growth spruce to contain the spread of spruce beetle, but we have never been able to log our way out of a beetle outbreak. Replanting results in an even age stand of trees, which will all become susceptible to beetles at the same time. In old growth, beetles have to travel farther to find the next host tree, which helps keep the population in check. In fact, the beetle outbreaks we have now are largely due to overharvesting. Continuing on this path won't solve the problem. You'll hear that we might as well log the old growth because climate change will destroy it. Climate change will impact these ecosystems, but the idea that it will destroy them is unfounded. Scientists tell us we need to protect intact functioning ecosystems for climate resilience, not preemptively destroy them. Furthermore, the warm, wet conditions that make the inland temperate rainforest possible are projected to expand in this region as the climate warms. You'll hear that we can store carbon in wood, and therefore it's good for the climate to log more. But only a small fraction of the carbon stored in forest ecosystems makes it to the mill. The rest of it goes into the atmosphere as a result of emissions from harvesting trees, disturbing the soil, and burning slash piles. At the end of the day, companies want to log our old growth to make a buck. And yes, wood has value but so does respect of indigenous culture, biodiversity, carbon sequestration, watershed health, and recreation. Old growth is worth far more than the wood it contains, but these precious places are under threat. Interior old growth is being logged at an alarming rate, as fast as or faster than the Amazon. For example, historically, in the upper Fraser watershed, ancient cedar stands occupied 30% of the landscape. Now they are down to between 3 and 7%. And while trees grow back, old growth does not. 
These habitats are complex and take hundreds of years to develop. They contain trees of all ages, snags and fallen trees housing animals, plants, lichen, and fungi. The trees are linked together by underground networks of roots and fungi, sharing chemical signals and nutrients. After logging, the forest is replanted to even aged, evenly spaced plantations that will be logged again at the end of the next 80 year rotation. Pre-contact forests will be lost forever. The protection we have in place is failing. Very little old growth is in parks. Over three quarters of existing cedar hemlock old growth remains unprotected in the inland temperate rainforest. There is a designation called old growth management areas, but it is full of loopholes. Forest district managers can approve roads through them, redraw their boundaries for so-called beetle salvage logging, and swap old forest for young recruitment forests. It's not too late to make sure that these endangered ecosystems are protected for generations to come. But we won't get there without a movement for change. We need action and we need it now.